What's going on, YouTube world, man? Charles Hutchinson, we're back again. Very, very excited, man. Top of the year, and man, we got some very, very exciting releases. Starting out, uh, this set, man, is gonna be the Katana Assault from Radical. If, if you know me personally, I was a huge fan of the original Katana and the Katana Slash specifically. Like, those are game changers for me. Once I really started throwing Brunswick, those balls, those two in particular, really was like, I'm sold. I'm here, I'm here for it all. So, yeah, man. And as always, again, got my typical layouts on here. And we're going to be comparing that one to the Innovator. One of my top picks from last year. And again, I'm just super, super excited, man, to throw these up against each other. I know for some people, they're gonna ask like, yo, why would they come out with another top end pearl? But the HK22 is something to put into a lot of the, the product line. So I get kind of putting it in there. Maybe I might have waited a little longer, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. We got another Katana, so man, I'm getting ready and I'm ready to get this bad boy on the lane. But as first, if you wanna purchase a ball that's really support the channel, use the links below. That goes a huge way, man, and really showing, again, that you support what I'm doing and the people that are helping me do this, they can see it. Um, and then always the jerseys, man. You're gonna start to see this uh, style a little bit more. Um, again, got my, my logo here out front. Um, very, very excited for a lot of the designs we have coming up, man. So just be on the lookout. If you wanna purchase these, get over to 12backer.com. Uh, and man, yeah, and if you're in South Florida, come check out Tony and Roger, man, at Bowler's Edge Pro Shop. Got it done for me really fast. So I appreciate those guys, man. Shout out to you. Uh, and that's it, man. We're gonna go ahead and get on the lanes. All right, so let's see what's out here. Get a couple warm-up shots. I just wanted to see what was going on out there, uh, see how much oil. I wasn't 100% certain if this was fresh or not, but we're gonna see this first couple shots. That didn't do nothing crazy, so we wanna say there's a little oil out there. Alrighty. You see that little straighter? Not even relatable. So it has to be like a little bit of carry down because um, the ball motion is just a little bit slower, uh, but it's a volume up front. I can see it's still skidding and going through uh, its phases of ball motion. But yeah, man, we're gonna get a couple more shots here. I'm gonna keep trying to kind of burn me a line and get, see how this thing can really dance, man. So. speed down a little bit with, with it. So, you know, first couple shots in, I'm curious to see what the innovator does and that's gonna tell me a lot about what I'm seeing out of the Katana Assault. Um, so far, so good, but again, I'm really curious to see what happens after I pick up the innovator. So far, looks, looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the innovator. I'm really, really curious to see what this ball is gonna do in comparison to this one. pretty good and that just you know slower it looks slower and that makes sense why the katana would look a little quicker okay threw it to the friction it bounced bounced early took off
just fell a little bit. So, again, overall smoother these first couple shots. And again, that wasn't great execution, but having executed every one with the assault, and it's still shaped. So, I guess that's a kind of the difference you're seeing in the cover stock. Everybody's still good now. All right, we're gonna throw a couple more shots here and then we're gonna throw the assault a little bit more. So from that spot, I'm gonna throw the assault and see what's the difference if i see a dramatic difference i expect to see it but let's see let's see what's gonna happen mm, oh i got that out there ah really threw that that way wasn't even close to the last shot so give me a moment i'm gonna try to do that again Try to execute that one a little better here. Definitely believe that the assault is just a little more down lane um, and a little more responsive. And I think again, if I was on just a, a typical house house shot here, like you would see that more pronounced. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw a couple more shots with it so you can continue to see again the difference in ball motion, ball reaction. And I don't think they're like a world apart. Like so far, and I've thrown it now a couple league sets. I don't think they're like dramatically different, but definitely a little quicker, a little more. No, <laughs> that was still struck though. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw a couple more shots. Uh, I think right now for what's out there, being a little more direct, um, it's gonna, I'm gonna have the best pin, pin carry, uh, but moving left right now, I really have to put some more games on it, um, on, a, on a lane to break it down so to that, but I'll probably give you a couple more shots here and then we're gonna move on. Still make sure I got in it and it continued through the pins. Like you didn't see a ton of deflection there. So that's really what I want to see. And I guess that's a big difference between the innovator and this one. Innovator from those angles, sometimes I can see, start to see some a little more deflection. So core shape, cover. Just that little bit of deflection. Then, ah. it's not quite the, the same amount of energy off the spot. I and mean, I think that's kind of the difference. Cover, you know, these core numbers. Um, just again, the, the katana assault, just a little bit more on the back end. It's kind of like my my final thoughts and I'll give you a, a more complete uh, once we get to that next set of angles, okay? So, yeah, all right, on to the next set of angles. Numbers uh, between the Katana Assault and the Innovator. Uh, the Assault has a higher RG, so it gets down the lane a little bit.